Despite being only 14 and 12, Chloe and Kyle have been playing together for nine years. The talented young duo, whose parents provide their backing band, can already boast performances in Hawaii, Cape Breton Island, and Kyle's career highlight, a show in front of 5,000 at the Roots and Blues Festival in Salmon Arm. My violin hero, I'd have to say, is Natalie McMaster because she is very raw Cape Breton <coughs> playing and I just love that style and she's like completely Cape Breton. So I really like her and I look up to her a lot. So yeah. Cool. Um, I don't really have like a, uh, I don't really look up to violinists, but I have like favorite violinists, a bunch of them. I like, um, Mark Sullivan, Daniel Gervais, and a couple other guys. I've seen other people write fiddle tunes and stuff, and I thought it would be kind of cool to do that myself. And one day I just had this tune pop in my head, and I'd never heard it before, but it just kind of started playing in my head. So I just grabbed my fiddle and started playing around with that tune, and then I've had more tunes since then. I entered a contest that our music school was organizing and so I got I won the competition for my age group in Canada Music Week and got a paid commission to do another one. Piano, I think we're practicing a lot more than we used to, probably almost an hour, five days a week, I'd say. And then when we're pr practicing as a band and r arranging, I think it's more like two hours when we do that. Uh, for the other instruments that we start playing, since we know the violin and the piano so well, it's really easy to pick up more instruments. And so the other instruments that we play besides piano and violin, we don't practice <laughs> too much because they're not our main ones. My main ones are basically piano, violin, and I just started guitar lessons and a bunch of other stuff. My mom and dad, they really wanted to do a CD for a long time, but we never really got to it and finally we started doing it in our basement, but then we got uh, my dad's friend to um, record it in his studio. Because we recorded so much and we've heard those songs over and over again that it's just like, oh. But, you know, it's cool to kind of have your own CD and it's nice to say that you have one.
I'm not playing hockey, like professional <laughs> hockey, then I wanna, then then um I'll play, I'll do music and do all that. But we do teach at the Glenmore Elementary School for the strings program there already. I like it because then they get to kind of see where they can become as musicians and I think it's good because not everybody gets a chance to do musical stuff and especially with the strings program program at Glenmore you're able to do that. I would like to travel the world doing music personally and yeah I kind of want to keep that as my life because that's what I enjoy doing most is doing music in whatever way it is so yeah my goal is probably to I really want to play in like uh, arenas or stadiums like Prospera here mm -hmm. and um yeah just like big arenas and
information on this week's artists, check them out on the World Wide Web. I will stand my ground, misery staying for a week. She'll fall